In this problem, I need to find the inverse of this function here. So remember, when finding inverses, the first thing we do is replace f of x with y. So that's step one. So step one, instead of f of x, we're going to write y equals the cube root of x minus one. Now what we have to do is remember the key to inverse is, is interchanging x and y. Wherever you see a y, you're going to put an x. Wherever you see an x, you're going to put a y. So I'm going to have x equals the cube root of y minus 1. And now step 3 we need to solve for y because y will be our inverse. So somehow I've got to get y by itself. So the first thing I'm going to have to do is get the term involving the cube root by itself. I'm going to have to add one to both sides and then I can deal with the cube root. So let's rewrite the equation. I have x equals the cube root of y minus 1. So what I'm going to have to do is add 1 to both sides. So I'm going to get x plus 1 equals the cube root of y. So now I've isolated my y term. Now I've got to get rid of the cube root. So what we're going to do is we're going to cube both sides. So we're going to get x plus 1, all cubed, equals. Now what are we going to get on the other side? What happens when you cube a cube root? Well, if you're not sure, remember the cube root is y to the 1 third power. And I'm going to raise that to the third power. Well, when you raise something with an exponent to another exponent, what do you do with these two exponents? You multiply them. So I'm going to get y raised to the 1 over 1, which is 1. So on my right-hand side, I'm going to get y. Because remember, when you cube a cube root, they undo each other. So I just get y. So remember, y is my inverse, and how are we going to write the inverse of the function f? Remember, the notation is f with a negative 1 exponent on it, and that means here comes the inverse of the function f, and it equals x plus 1 all cubed. So I have now found my inverse. And let's see if we can find that in the answer. Definitely not 1, I mean A, not B, because that's a minus, not this one. Okay, there it is, D. So my answer is multiple choice, D.